Hello, welcome back. If you've seen the previous video, I filled this uh, diesel van, this old mechanical pump diesel van, up with cooking oil, sunflower oil to be precise. Went to Tesco's. If you've not seen that video, please watch that first and then come back. Now, I've had a lot of questions over the last week, uh, a lot of comments, especially through social media. Jesus, how did you find me? Regarding the cooking oil situation. Now, let me just explain to you that I wouldn't use this in a modern diesel engine. This engine here is an old diesel engine. We have mechanical distribution pump, not a high pressure common rail pump. So don't use it in a modern diesel. If you've got an old diesel knocking around, maybe an old uh, Peugeot 306 D turbo, or you know, you don't want a HDI, you want a, a mechanical diesel pump. I'll put a picture of what it looks like uh, down here somewhere or up here. Now, the diesel engine were actually invented by Rudolf Diesel in 1892. And his original design was to use some sort of coal dust mixed with water. Anyway, I don't, I don't think that worked or it didn't work as efficient as he thought. By 1900, Rudolf Diesel had his diesel engine running 100% off peen oil. So basically farmers, you can grow your own fuel. Now, I'm going to put a video now of what it were like on a cold morning. As you can see, it's a very cold morning and we're running the cooking oil. So this is going to be a cold, cold start. Oh. It's about one degree, um, might even be less. So see what it starts like on neat cooking oil. Blow plug cycled. And it starts fine. Oh, we've got a miss there. We've got two misses. Get a bit of rev. We had some misses there though. But like I said, the uh, viscosity of the fuel will be quite it's considerably thicker than diesel. But to say it's one degree, I mean, when I'm breathing, I've, I can see my own breath. Oh. So, yeah, it had a misfire on one cylinder twice. And now, it's, ex it's fine. So, like I say, I'm, I'm being completely honest with people. You've just seen it, look, there's frost on the windscreen. And it, it missed twice, and now it's running perfectly, perfectly fine. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Let's go and get some more cooking oil. And as you can see, it were a bit lumpy to start with. But it's been fine. You've got 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds of a slight misfire. But that's down to the viscosity of the cooking oil. After 10, 20 seconds, it runs perfectly fine. And it has done. The only other downside I see is when you are in traffic and you have got the windows down, you can smell it. It's very Skegness seafront donut chip shop smell. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't particularly like the smell of it, but my daughter loves it. <laughs> so yeah, um, thanks for all the comments. And people said, oh, it's illegal. I, I did put the law and I will put it up again. Now I've just driven past a, um, a, a petrol station. £1.75.9 and that's after the Chancellor knocked 5p off fuel duty. Which is crazy. I'm refusing to put diesel in a car, that's why I'm using this van. I don't want to pay that price. It's not a fair price. Another thing to note is obviously prices are going up because of the war in Ukraine. But someone commented over in, it was quite a touching comment. Ukraine, the Ukrainian flower is a sunflower. They grow a lot of sunflowers, wheat, and other agricultural products. 
and what Ukraine is going through now is one of I think the saddest things Europe's seen <laughs> since World War II but politics aside the, the probability of this sunflower oil being made in Ukraine so I'm you, instead of running on let's just say Putin's diesel I'm not, I understand people are going to comment oh we don't really buy diesel from Putin it, it, there's a certain percentage that we did or do um, at least now I'm running on a Ukrainian product which hopefully I don't know how it will they can still produce sunflower oil it's just a nice little touch there that maybe the profits from this are going to a Ukrainian farmer and not Putin so I'll keep you updated uh, on the van which now identifies as a chip van so thanks for watching please like and subscribe I've gained so many subs over these videos if there's any questions you've got please ask them in comments I'll try to answer thanks for watching and take care